So, Mohammed, uh, we saw a fairly solid level of Sukuk issuance in 2014. Where do you see the market heading in 2015? Thank you, John. Um, yeah, as you rightly said, uh, Sukuk issuance have recovered partially in 2014 compared with 2013, with total issuance reaching around 116 billion. Uh, for 2015, we think that the total issuance would reach uh, uh, between 100 and 115 billion for three main reasons. Number one, we think that the economic performance of the GCC uh, countries and Malaysia uh, is expected to remain good. Uh, number two, we expect the uh, uh, new issuers to tap the market. In 2014, we've seen several new countries tapping the Sukuk market like the UK, Luxembourg, South Africa. Uh, in order to diversify their uh, investor base. Um, and number three, we think that Basel III implementation uh, will create a window of opportunity to see more issuance from highly rated sovereigns and central banks. Okay, good. And, and where do you see the, the main sources of risk for Sukuk issuance uh, this year? Uh, in 2015, we see two main sources of risk for uh, Sukuk issuance. Uh, number one, uh, we see oil price as a source of risk. As you know, oil price have declined quite significantly over the past few months. Um, and uh, if, the, if this trend continues, uh, we may see a reduction in uh, public spending or in investments, which would translate into lower financing needs and lower uh, issuance of, uh, of Sukuk. Uh, the second source of risk is coming from the expected uh, increase in the, uh, uh, in the uh, Fed interest rates, which could r reduce the global liquidity. On the positive side, um, the ECB is expected to implement a, uh, a, a, a stimulus package in 2015, and some uh, 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 emerging markets instruments may benefit indirectly from that. Okay, and, and finally, Mohammed, can you tell us a little bit more about the, the recently uh, updated uh, Sukuk criteria? Mm -hmm. Standard Poor's has updated this criteria to rate Sukuk. Our ultimate objective is to enhance the transparency of uh, our criteria. And uh, while fundamentally we haven't changed our approach to rate Sukuk, we have identified few instances where the Sukuk rating can be different from the sponsor rating. Um, as you know, Sukuk are structured investment products and uh, given the uh, asset backing principle inherent to Islamic finance, Sukuk have to have an underlying assets. In some cases, this means a, uh, that investors are exposed to a residual asset risk and specifically in the case of total loss event. And what we did in our, uh, in our updated criteria, we've clarified the instances where the rating of the Sukuk can be different from the rating of the sponsor and we've identified clearly this situation and how we will deal deal with them from a rating perspective. Okay, thank you Mohammed. That concludes our CMTV and um, thank you for listening.